Hi guys, um, so today I'm going to talk about something that's really important. I realise that quite a few people are starting their internships very soon. I know a couple starting tomorrow and I thought I'd talk about a couple of the tips that helped me, help some of my friends and some of the things that I've learned in the course of my experience basically. The first tip I have is that you must always do your research even though you've gotten the job and obviously, well, you've gotten the internship and obviously you, they thought you were good enough to be given an internship, it doesn't mean you have the job so like being on an internship is, on, is an ongoing process, you have to generally keep on top of the company, you never know who's going to ask you a question and it's also great for you to understand the culture of the company and be able to have intelligent conversation with people and not just look like oh this person manager run through the doors for some reason so doing your research is very very important second tip is that you should dress smartly again just because you've got in the job doesn't mean you should turn up in a bodycon dress or um you know depending on where you work if you're going for an internship somewhere where it's quite professional um, I would advise you to turn up in a suit or a very smart dress I'm more partial to dresses myself I hate shirts and skirts or shirts and trousers I don't really think they look very feminine but um, I like dresses that come with suit jackets and you keep it very smart I mean when you get the job you can turn up in <laughs> red lipstick or um, you know whatever you want to wear obviously within reason but during your internship you have to show that you can be professional and you can be put in front of a client looking the way you look at that point in time so definitely dress smartly so depending on where you work um, just make sure you know that what they expect so if it's somewhere professional turn up looking very smart if it's somewhere in the creative industry that doesn't mean you should turn up to work in shorts on your first day you might work at glamour magazine but I don't really think it would be a good idea to turn up in your internship with Patty Riders. Third tip is to be on time. Um, again, you've got in the job and you want to show that you could actually be someone who could contribute to the firm from the start. You don't want to be, you don't want to come across as a slacker. So it's advisable for you to try and be on time, give yourself don't check transport for London and say, oh, I start work at nine, TFL tell me how I'm going to get to work for nine o'clock. No, you should try and at least aim to get to work 15 minutes early. You can take your time. There's no need for you to be there like stupid, stupid o'clock or, you know, want to be the last person to leave. No, that's not particularly necessary. Just get to work on time. Do the work that you have to do. Ask before you leave. Do you need me to do anything else? Don't just walk out at 5.30, depending on where you're working. Um, some people might not care, but generally you're going to be looked on as someone who's not, you know, very responsible or keen, like you don't really get stuck in. Um, I know a lot of people are very worried during internships about leaving. They don't want to be the first intern to leave. No. Ask your supervisor, ask whoever it is that you're meant to be working with um, if they need any more help. And generally, don't try and leave at 5.30, maybe wait till about 6 o'clock or something. And then you ask around, but there's really no need for you to be there chilling, <laughs> just wasting your time. Be diligent with every task. If someone comes over and asks you to photocopy something, do it. Don't be like, oh, why if they just, I didn't come here to photocopy. You might not even say that, but your body language will show. Whatever they ask you to do, just do it. Because you're there to learn and you're there to also show that you're willing to start from the bottom. Essentially, that's where you are. You need to show that you're open to growth and that you can grow. So you're not someone who thinks you're a know-it-all and you can't do all the basic things. No, that's just ridiculous. Um, I would advise you to be very enthusiastic about everything. Seek out, you know work that is going to be useful as well so if, if all you're getting to do is photocopy ask your supervisor and just be like oh what are you working on at the moment um is there anything i can help you with oh tell me more about it stuff like that you can say stuff like that that way you would be able to get out of making someone tea i've never had to make anyone tea i don't know anyone who's had to do that but i know that people say that sometimes interns get 
given the rubbish stuff to do, but no, never mind about that. Be very friendly to everybody, including your secretary, um, you know, the security guards, just be friendly. Just no one should have to tell you to be a good person. If you are a bit of an ass, then just rein in your arseness. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense, but just be friendly to everyone and be genuine as well. So don't just be friendly to your fellow interns or your supervisor and ignore other people in the hallway. Try and get to know people because even if they might not appear to be your type of people at first glance, at the end of the day, if you get the job, these are the people that you're going to be working with. So, for example, going back to my previous tip, if someone asks you to photocopy something, and you don't necessarily have the time to do it or you don't know how to do it, if you've been horrible to your secretary or you've just blanked her the whole time, then you're going to have to go and ask her to help you out. And how do you really think she's going to take that? Especially from an intern who's not bothered to acknowledge her for, I don't know, weeks, and then now you need help. It's just a really good idea to just be friendly, and this should just really operate in every aspect of your life. You shouldn't just be friendly to people when you need something from them. So that's tip number five. You need to have strong interpersonal skills. Um, you need to be able to talk to anyone. It's gonna be really hard because you're young, we're all young, and you're dealing with people who are more senior, maybe the editor of a magazine, a partner. Just try and look beyond that. Look past that and try and relate to them as normal human beings. Um, some people say silly things like imagine them in their underpants. That's never worked for me. I just try to be friendly and just genuinely ask them, you know, how did you get here? And um, what's kept you here for so long? And um, what do you like the most about the job? Because you will have opportunities to, um, you know, go for lunches with these people during your internships. You can't just sit there quiet and just work <laughs> back and forth. It's not gonna, really gonna work out. So you're definitely going to need to work on your inter interpersonal skills and put them to use. Ask questions. If you don't know how to do something, ask for help. But be very conscious of the way that you ask for help. For example, if a partner's asked you to scan something, then go back and ask him, how do I use the scanner? That doesn't work. Ask your secretary, ask a fellow intern, maybe ask someone else who you think is you know, a bit junior and ask them for help. Ask, ask questions. If someone's asked you to research something, try and get as much detail as you can so that you can do the job well. That's a, that's a really, really important tip. You don't want to have spent hours doing something and then you hand it over and you've done the completely wrong thing. Be proactive. If you find that you're just sitting down, you don't really have anything to do, go beyond your department, go to the next department. If you're in, I don't know, the design section for example and that's where your internship is based and you've asked around and no one really has anything for you to do don't feel like you're stuck in the design department perhaps go and speak to people in operations go and speak to people in other sections of the firm and ask for help there but while you do that make sure you let them know that you're not in their department but you're very you're, you're you have capacity and you're willing to help people don't be stupid. <laughs> you know, if you're socialising with people, you're definitely, on your internship, you're definitely going to have the opportunity to socialise with other interns, socialise with graduate recruitment, socialise with other people in the company. Don't be silly. Like, if you've been given free drinks all night, doesn't mean you should act as though you're out with your friends. Um, I remember my first internship, there's this one guy who got absolutely wasted and he decided to follow the head of graduate recruitment into a toilet. Yes, he obviously didn't remember this the next day, but we all knew about it and he didn't get the job. So just be conscious of the way that you behave during your internship. And this leads me on to my final tip is to be the best version of yourself. Be yourself, but try and be the best that you can be. Um, you know, some people get a bit nervous when they're put with a bunch of people who might not necessarily be from the same social background as them. 
or they're not necessarily they don't look like you don't take it you know don't take it personally this is real life you're going beyond university going beyond um sixth form and you're going into real life not everyone is going to be someone that you can um understand not everyone's going to come from a similar background from you and you just need to just be yourself you know this is not the time to be all posh and talk like you're the queen no people can see beyond that just be whoever you are you don't have to have gone to a, a top university or whatever you've obviously gotten the job and um, you've gotten the internship based on your merits enjoy it have a good time and you know just wish for the best be very prepared and yeah you'll be fine and i hope everything goes well i hope people do well in their internship thank you guys i know this is a long one but it's hopefully a useful one so see you soon bye